Ladies, it's cycle two, week six. Let's get going. We're done with our first quarter already. Can you believe that? This is crazy. So let's jump right into our history sentence. During the Renaissance period from 1350 to 1600, Da Vinci was a famous inventor. Shakespeare was a famous playwright. Michelangelo was a famous artist and Copernicus was a famous scientist. Here's your actions. During the Renaissance, Renaissance means rebirth, so got a big old belly. During the Renaissance period, from 1350 to 1600, Da Vinci, so D, V, Da Vinci, was a famous inventor. Here's your hammer, inventing. Famous inventor. Shakespeare was a famous playwright. You can write. Michelangelo, there's your M, Michelangelo was a famous artist. Paint the ceiling. And Copernicus, there's your letter C for Copernicus, was a famous scientist. There's your magnifying glass because scientists look through magnifying glass. Copernicus was a famous scientist. Math, we skip counted with 11s and 12s. And we did this today by throwing a ball all around, big old beach volleyball. So we threw it all around and the better that they did, the challenge was to go and spread out farther and farther and farther. I think they were totally enthralled with the idea of throwing a ball around and not really saying the numbers at all. But I think that this will be really fun to keep taking it at home. So it was good practice up front. They were starting to do much better by the end of our memory work time. So we did 11, so 11, 22, 33, 44. 55, 66, 77, 88, 99, 110, 121, 132, uh, 12s, 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, 84, 96, 108, 120, 132, 144. So there you go for your skip counting. Have fun doing that outside in this beautiful weather today. Again, the challenge is to every time they do a little bit better, they can spread out a little bit farther and you guys can throw the ball back and forth. You can also just continue on with the rest of your memory work this week um, at home and you can just keep throwing the ball back and forth. My son absolutely loves it when we do memory work like that. English. We continued on with our chicken dance. It will be the song that continues on forever, it feels like, but it's really, really fun. So we're gonna do the possessive pronouns. So we continued on with possessive pronouns, mine, yours, his, hers, ours, yours, and theirs. Possessive pronouns, mine, yours, his, hers, ours, yours, and theirs. Possessive pronouns, mine, yours, his, hers, ours, yours, and theirs. Possessive pronouns, mine, yours, his, hers, ours, yours, and theirs. And I took the class through the nominative pronouns, the objective pronouns, and the possessive pronouns. So we did the whole song together to bring it all into fruition so that they won't forget how everything's actually working together. I think that that personally helps me. So I think that that helps the kids whenever they're actually wanting to go ahead and recite everything at the end. So it doesn't take just chunks of this information. It actually makes it one big group. So there's our possessive pronouns. Let's do timeline. We're gonna start with India's Mauryan Empire. So India's Mauryan Empire, there's their roads that they made. Mayans of Mesoamerica. So you are going to make the temples, Mayans of Mesoamerica. Punic, there's your letter P. Punic Wars, Rome, there's your letter R, Rome conquers Greece. Roman, there's your R again, Roman dictator Julius Caesar, there's his sash. Roman dictator Julius Caesar. Caesar Augustus and the Pax, there's your letter P, Pax Romana, so in a little symbol of peace, Pax Romana. John the Baptist, so there's your letter J, John the Baptist, you are baptizing, John the Baptist. And that's the end of week six timeline. We all wanna go ahead and continue to sing Jesus the Messiah, right? John the Baptist, let's do our Latin. <clears throat> I'm 
Latin was a repeat of last week, so we continued on with the adventures of Mr. Peabody and Sherman. They were in their Wayback Machine. The Wayback Machine can actually go into the future as well, so first conjugation, future tense. They decided to go back in time, so they found a bow, so bow and arrow, bow. This Mr. Peabody had a biscuit. My daughter is making faces in the window and I told her not to. Bow, bis, bit. Mr. Peabody bit into that biscuit, bit. Bimis, they found a gladiator that he was getting ready to sit down and eat dinner. So he put on a bib and he had lots of muscles. So Bimis, bib and muscles. Bitis, Mr. Peabody wanted to finish that biscuit. So he had his bib and he bit into that biscuit. So bitches, bimis, bitches, and then they bumbled into a hunt. So bunt, bumbled, hunt, bunt. Bo, bis, bitch, bimis, bitches, bunt. Bo, bis, bitch, bimis, bitches, bunt. Sing along to the songs on that one on our CD. Then we have European Mountains. I think you guys can see we came up with a mnemonic device. So it reads P-A-C-C-U, pack you. There's a backpack right there for them to help remember it because whenever you're going to go mountain climbing, you pack a backpack. So pack you or you pack. So you have the Pyrenees for your letter P, the Alps for the letter A, Carpathians for the letter C, Cock Cases for the letter C, the next letter C, and then the Ural Mountains for the letter U. We took chocolate chips and we put them on our map and I just called them out according to the P-A-C-C-U mnemonic device and they put all the chocolate chips on the right places. We called it out about well, seven times for our memory work and then they got to eat them. So have fun doing that at home. I'm sure that they really want to do their geography memory work that way this week at home too. What are, what are six types of pollution? Six types of pollution are noise, air, like the air you're breathing, water, one of our parents did a W, um, you can swim through the water too if that helps you, water, land, jump and put your feet firmly on the ground, thermal, it's hot, thermal and radioactive thinking Godzilla here he turns into this big monster so radioactive and we went through and did silly voices with these so what are six forms of pollution six forms of pollution are noise air water land thermal and radioactive and I think that is all of our memory work for week six if you weren't in class today we really missed you um, we had one kiddo sick today, so I really hope that she's feeling better. And if you have any questions, call our email. Thank you, CC families. You guys have a great week.